Hello, Forecaster here, and we are back for episode 13. And we are picking up right where we left off. We're leaving the... Oh. Uh, we're leaving the junk town uh, area. No, not junk town. Uh, bone town. Boneyard. Whatever. That place. And we're going to head towards Shady Sands. Um, to find a companion. Because that's the only one I know uh, I know of at the moment. So we're going to go recruit that. 3 to 11 damage. That will do, I think. And I missed. These rats can be pretty tough. And hard to hit. Oh, come on. Steve. Can't hit a stupid rat with a crowbar. Shame. At least I have dog meat to make mince meat out of the rats. And I do five damage. Great. Uh, go. I guess my melee skill isn't particularly high. These don't have any loot, right? No. Uh, my melee weapons is fairly high, and my unarmed is higher. And yet I can't hit anything. Such a disappointment. Oh well. Um, I still don't know where that place I was supposed to find for the uh, Brotherhood of Steel initiation is. Kinda wish it would have the name listed printed on the map for these places. Hello, caravan. Um, let's see if we can get rid of some garbage uh, to lighten our load a bit. I believe I have two of these. I would like to get rid of that. I don't know if ammo weighs anything. What is this bag? I still don't understand the carry system. Um, or what, what bags and sacks and stuff are supposed to do. Um, but whatever. Let's offer that. That gets us more ammo and gets rid of a useless duplicate weapon then we will leave because I don't think we have anything else to sell really oh come on stupid oh rad scorpions great and I've been poisoned, apparently. Uh, probably should have had a weapon out. Um, let's let's use this. But I can't because I don't have enough action points now because of inventory interaction. Wow. One hit point.
Dogmate is a lot better at fighting than I am. At least with melee. Uh, I hit Dogmeat. That is unfortunate, but... Oh well. Uh, I don't like those. Can barely carry enough stuff as it is. Don't need more clutter. Now we're almost back to... Oh, come on! Stupid encounters. It's a single rad scorpion. Ah. Okay. How much more until the next level? Uh, about 1,500 XP. Should level up fairly soon, I guess. Right, let's reload this thing. So we don't have to do that in the next fight. It's probably a good idea. At least I have plenty of ammo. That's something. And here we are. Shady Sands. Uh, I think he's in the entrance somewhere. In this building up here. There he is. Oh. Wrong entrance. Oh well. No, there's a doorway. Okay, so could you help me out for a bit? The 100 caps, that is fine, it's nothing to us right now. Okay. Um, can you. Need to change what weapons are you skilled with? Okay. Right. Formation. Um keep a moderate distance. Uh okay. Let's head back outside. And I guess we'll, we are going to trek uh, straight back down here. There should be a place here somewhere. Uh, where's the Brotherhood place? That's there. There should be a place around here somewhere, I think. That is the place we were supposed to find for the Brotherhood. I would expect that to be this final slot here. Um, so yeah, we're going to see if we can find that. I don't remember what it was called, the Ancient or something like that. I think it ought to be down here somewhere. I think he said south. Uh, what? There's nothing here. Oh, dehydration. Uh, right. This looks like a circle. It's more like a crater, I guess. Oh. Whoops. Ha. Huh. Well, that went faster than I expected. Right, so we're in there. 32 days left. I guess it took a while to trek back up to Shady Sands and back. Hmm. Uh, I've learned that there are water merchants in the hub that...
can let you extend the time by I think it was a hundred days uh, so down here I guess so I guess we will be exploring that option because I'll probably need it I don't think. Please. I guess we want to go over here. Jacob the arms dealer. Uh, okay. What are you selling here? High end arms. Okay. Ooh. I have a Geiger counter. I would like that sniper rifle though. Metal armor. Explosive rockets, flamer, hunting rifle, uh, assault rifle, interesting, pulse grenade, combat armor, leather armor, uh, is combat armor is a lot more valuable than metal armor, so I guess that is better. Um, does this use 14 millimeter? I guess we'll buy it and see. Combat shotgun. Interesting. That I think that's a little too high. I don't know how much of this we can afford, but let's see. We have 4,000 in caps. These I still don't know how to use, so we can get rid of those. Might as well. They're just taking up room. I never use those. Um, I don't know how useful the motion sensor really is. Either way, I don't really use it. Um, grenade, plasma grenade, I might want to keep that. Uh, these I found, they might be worth quite a bit. Yeah, how much is this worth? Quite a bit. Hmm. wonder how much that's worth quite a lot. I might want to sell that because I can get more from the super mutants when I go back to kill them and my energy weapon skill is pretty terrible. Maybe I'll keep the ammo though because well uh that's 
uh, going to be more precious. So then I need a few caps to round that off. So we are that's 80. So we need 15 caps, I think. No. Let's see, that's 90. And then 3. So that should do it. Let's offer that. Excellent. Okay. Now let's go into our inventory. Let's replace the armor with our leather armor with some combat armor. Let's see what happens. We have armor class 22 at the moment. 27. It has higher resistances, which is nice. Especially to laser and plasma which is quite nice we now have our sniper rifle which does 14 to 32 with a range of 50 and it uses the 223 ammo it has six shots in the magazine do we have two 223 ammo we do good 91 shots that's plenty I think um, I'd like the combat shotgun but that was quite pricey so now we have a higher armor class let's let's have a look at how much the combat shotgun was worth super sludge. Two thousand nine hundred. I don't think we have that much unless we want to spend caps on it. What is that? Fourteen millimeter pistol, combat knife. Um, what ammo does that combat shotgun use? Group either way. I wonder if it uses the same as the regular shotgun because we might. If so, we might sell this isn't worth too much but uh, still and used that ammo with that one instead it ought to be better anyway so I guess we can spend some caps on it now we need 2,000 caps uh, and then 152, so 2,152 caps to fill out the rest. I wonder if this counter even goes up to a thousand. I wish you could just type in a number. Oh, you can. But it only goes up to 99. So... Uh, we are going to need another 999. Then we add 2 for our 2,000. And then I said... 152, I think. So 152. And perfect. So we offer that. Sure. And now we're going to have a look at the uh, combat shotgun. See what ammo that uses. And it uses the 12 gauge, but it has 12 shots instead of two, and probably higher damage. Although I didn't look at what damage the old 
old one did, but it's most likely better considering the difference in price. Um, who are you? What do you have to sell? Okay. Let's do a save here. And I bet you can't guess why I'm doing that. Hello, what goes on in this building? And I go where I please. This is probably going to initiate combat. Ow. Well, Vance. I think you're going to have to say hello to my new shotgun. 54 hit points. Nice. He has a sledgehammer. 20 hit points. And you also have a sledgehammer. And 25 hit points. I don't think these guys are going to be too much of a challenge. Especially not when they miss. And they both miss. Okay, maybe not all the time. I think I'll be alright though. Maybe. Right. Let's... 19 hit points. One short of... Killing him. Oh no, he had... Oh, I thought one of them had 20 hit points, but... Oh well. Ow. And then they switch to melee for some reason. I wish you'd attack that one that has low health. But whatever. What? 16 hit points? That should have killed you. Huh. Oh well. Ow. Why aren't you dead? Here, have a shotgun shell. Oh, come on. Just... Die, would you? Let's try that on him if he remains at a long distance. He doesn't. He's going to try to run away. I won't allow that. Perfect. And now, hopefully, dog meat will kill this guy once he's done. Or not, I guess. There we go. So that was that. That went pretty well. I don't really want a sledgehammer. Oh, right, there were three of them. Free stim pack. And you have nothing. So, I wonder what was going on in here. Mother. Were they kidnapping people? What happened to the girl? Junkie. 
Okay. I guess they were running a drug den or something. How do we get in here? Alright. It's that building. Uh, so what were these water merchants? Or hold up. There is nothing down there. Change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? <coughs> uh, yeah, Ooh, sure. Kind of your friend, very kind. You know, if I could clear the gunk out of there, you uh, just might find a tear in old Harold's eye. <laughs> Rest of the hubbers been picking on me like a bad booger since I came back to town. I can't leave, though. When the deals are done, it's still my home. Okay. Well, after the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. Phew. <sighs> Long time. Okay. All started with the sirens. I was young, but oh, I do remember that. A lot of terrible years followed. And I remember walking out of the vault late one morning. You know, <coughs> I'm not real sure anymore. West, I think. Oh, wait, uh, east? Oh, I don't know. I... <coughs> well, uh, I was a trader. Did pretty good making a circuit between survivors. Lost a lot of good people, though. Uh, gangers got them. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants, son of a dog, if they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission. <coughs> Had to have an army of guards with just to do a deal. Everywhere, hell, seemed like you couldn't fart without hitting one. But mostly in the Northwest. Oh. Needed to see what was there. Maybe stop whatever was churning them boogers out. We thought we were prepared. Were we wrong? We mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray led a small group of us up there. Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. Some sort of old military base. Yeah, I've been there. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. Because it was like someone went bargain shopping at Mutant Land. Whew, cheaper by the dozens. Can't figure any other reason except that being the factory. We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded, sent him back to the surface. Then, it was just me and Gray. We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. I was in bad shape, and, well, I passed out. Okay. Didn't. Got killed. <laughs> God, I love that joke. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. Got lucky, and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here, and here I've been since. Well, thanks for letting me tell it. Okay. I wonder if I hadn't 
attack the ghoul or the super mutants when they brought me in um, maybe one of them is gray and I could have told him about this to like resolve that situation in a different way okay Ow. What? 30 damage? Well... Dang. Um... Not really... Well, I guess I get experience for fighting. Um, I wonder if I can snipe one of them. Ooh, nice. That was a good shot. Don't hit my dog. Pretty good for that distance. Um, right, so we have reached the end of this episode, unfortunately. So I'm going to just finish this fight, uh, and then I'm going to listen to that story again in case it has any bearing on, well, anything. Uh, and then we will be back for the next episode. So, I will see you then.